Hello. And welcome to Fridge Game. If you eat food, then this is the show for you. Coming up in our fridge today. It's all about the most important meal of the day, breakfast. You ask our chefs anything about breakfast at our chef's table. No apostrophe, no lawsuit. And we show you how to make the ultimate granola. But, but first, first, good morning. We have just woken up. Not together. And it's time for a battle. I'm going to cocoa pop your ass in this one. <laughs> Now my favourite breakfast cereal of all time has to be Steak. has to be Cocoa Pops. So when I heard we were doing the ultimate breakfast cereal battle, I thought I've got to include Cocoa Pops somewhere. So I've come up with, and wait for this, the Popping Coke Cocoa Pop Cake Pop Popsicles. Uh, again, if you wanted to hear that again, that is and it starts with making the cake pops for my popping coke, cocoa pop, cake pop popsicles. That means melting some butter in a pan with some cocoa, adding some water. It's too late for second guessing, too late to go back to sleep. It's time to trust my instincts, close my eyes and leap. It's time I try defying gravity. Kiss me goodbye, I'm defying gravity. And it starts with chocolate ganache. Chop up dark chocolate. Heat, double cream, melt the chocolate. I may as well give up now. I'm just making a standard bowl of granola with a few extra ingredients. I've got some fried chicken, some gravy, some bourbon soaked blueberries, some honey, and some hot sauce. And it starts with your fried chicken. Cut up your chicken into bite-sized pieces and then let that soak overnight in buttermilk and some hot sauce. What is that? I thought it'd be relaxing. It's now time to move on to the rest of the cake mixture. So that is going to be flour, sugar, uh, and some baking soda into a bowl mixed together and apparently a pinch of salt. Then I can pour in my wet stuff, mix it all up, and it's going to be a great cake batter. James, the brief was pajamas. I sleep naked then. I'm not going to get sucked into the hilarious banter today because I don't know if you've noticed, but my recipe is fully reliant on visuals. If the visuals look terrible, this is going to end up bad. I'm genuinely concerned it's going to turn out like one of those nailed it memes. The last step to make my cake for my cake pops for my... You know what I'm making. Is whisking together buttermilk and egg before folding that into the rest of the cake batter, into a pan and then into an oven for about 20 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Ow! Don't forget the vanilla extract. The hot double cream has now perfectly melted my dark chocolate, so now that goes into a bowl and then into the freezer to set up. It's white chocolate panna cotta time. Got some double cream. For the milk, milk. for my cereal. Pan. This kitchen ain't big enough for the two of us, especially with Next him in up, here. Next up, I'm going to be making my popsicles. You haven't got a camera. It doesn't so what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> now I'm creating the milk for my cereal. I'm melting some butter in a pan, then adding the flour in. Then I'm adding some boiled milk into that with a bay leaf. So you're putting milk into your milk? Well, I'm making a kind of a milk for my cereal. It looks like just milk, but actually right. it's delicious and so much more than just milk. But it has got milk in it? Yeah. So you're using milk to make milk? You're milking this. Now we know Barry always goes outside of the box with he this does. brief. I think this is so far outside of the cereal box, he's even confused himself. He doesn't really know what he's doing, but I like the idea behind the whole savoury, looks sweet, is savoury thing. All the flavours will work, and it looks like a bowl of cereal. Granola fried chicken as well. Fried chicken. I'm going to make some white chocolate well, panna cotta. So it's that's double cream and milk. Coke. In a pan and cake, cake, cocoa cereal. pop, cake pop popsicles. I know that you're pulling focus to them. You're not even listening to me. That is so out of order. No, I'm done. You're not even going to find out how to make a white chocolate panna cotta. It's double cream and milk in a pan, heated to a simmer, added sugar, and then some white chocolate. In the meantime, I'm going to do some gelatine in some cold water. Do some gelatine. Yeah, like this. Look, water. gelatine, done. <laughs> Look like this bit. Yeah. Ooh. <gasps> Whiskey bloobs. Oh. Bourbon soaked blueberries. Next up, I've got to make the popsicles for my popping co cocoa pop cake pop popsicles. It's getting easier to say that. <laughs> We're sick of it. It's going to start by pouring some coke into a bowl and leaving it for half an hour so it goes nice and flat. We're going to add in the juice of half a lime, some double cream and liquid glucose, mix it all together until it's nicely combined and then pop it into some silicon bakeware from Ben's personal silicon bakeware collection. And then how do you cook popsicles? That's right children, in a freezer until they're frozen.
Now, when it comes to Jamie's dish, he is so tongue-tied with the title that he's kind of forgetting that he's actually got to deliver a recipe. And I think the recipe is going to be tough for him because he's got to move quickly, it's going to melt, and he is not good at moving quickly. Speed is not his thing. There was something I forgot to mention. Finish the recipe. Pop the lid on, pop some sticks in. But it's only half full. Yes, because the other half is going to be made up of my cake pops. That's what makes it into pop. So after soaking your blueberries in bourbon and creating a, a white sauce, what's next for your breakfast, I hear you ask? Gravy. Yeah, I know. To make my gravy, I've got some gravy that I'm going to mix with some barbecue sauce. So the first step to making your gravy is get some gravy. Bring that to a boil and reduce it by half. And now to pané my chicken, I've got one bowl full of my blitzed granola, another bowl full of flour, oregano and garlic powder, and the middle bowl, egg. The perfect breakfast companion. Chopped white chocolate goes into the simmering cream with sugar. Think back to that time that I told you I'd done some gelatine. Well, I'm going to take that gelatine out. You did do the gelatine in the cold water. I'm going to squeeze it. Oh. Sorry. Good aim, oh. right? Good morning to you. And then that's going in my white chocolate, sugary, creamy mix. Once this is dissolved, this gets poured into a jug with a spout to cool down because I'm messy. And you won't believe this because I'm so efficient. I've taken my ganache out of the freezer. Here it is. Here is a bubble tea straw. I'm going to stick this in the middle because this is going to be the foundation of my trickly honey nut cornflake, white chocolate ganache, panna cotta. <laughs> I'm going to make the icing for the cake pops for the cake pop part of, you know, whatever. What that's going to be is melting some butter and then adding in some buttermilk, some cocoa powder, a little bit of vanilla extract, folding that into some icing sugar, and then when the cake is completely cool, we can crush it all up, fold in the icing, and make our popping Coke cake, Coco Pop. You, lost it. you never guess what I've done, melted some more chocolate. This is white chocolate. <laughs> and now it's melted, I need to chill it so it becomes nice and pasty. Like James. Recap, ganache, chilled, straw, in. Panna cotta, chilled, pour, on ganache. And now, I'm gonna scatter these honey nut cornflakes all over so it looks like Are they the crunchy ones? a bowl full. They are crunchy, yeah. Right. And now it goes back into the fridge to chill, like all of the other steps. So Mike's is deceptively simple. But deceptively clever. Oh yeah, yeah. Everyone likes dark chocolate and white chocolate. Plus the whole defying gravity thing, everyone loves Wicked. I think he can pull this off, but if it doesn't look spectacular, yeah. There's not a lot else going for it. Now my chicken's all panned, it's time to deep fry my chicken. 170 for about four or five minutes. This is set up really nicely, and my white chocolate is now a paste. Oh, oh, oi. Sorry. Fingers out. Now I'm going to paint my straw with this, and then I'm going to construct. Now my cake pops are in the silicon, I need to get them back out of the silicon so they stay in their hemi semi semi half circle things. Um, and then I need to put them onto the sticks on the other side of the popsicles. They can go back into the freezer for a few minutes to set up. Do you want some amazing news? What? I think you Jamie's recipe is going wrong. Is it? His ice is melting. So I used the white chocolate to stick the honey nut flakes of corn to the straw and go up. Now I've got a base layer that's gone back into the fridge to set up. I can patch that up and make it look good later, but for now, I'm going to take these to this. You'll see. These have set up in the freezer, which means we can now put our toppings on. We're going to put some crushed up Cocoa Pops and some popping candy because they're popping Coke, Cocoa Pop, Cake Pop, Popsicles. But we have to do this quickly because we don't want them to melt. Welcome back to another Chef's Table. And given that today's theme is breakfast, we thought we'd carry that right the way through with some questions from you. Why are bagels boiled before baking? So it does feel a little bit weird to place raw dough into boiling water, but what that does is kind of sets the outside of the bagel 
and then when it bakes, it stops it rising too much, which is why you get a really dense, chewy bagel. What are some alternatives to just adding sugar to your porridge? And please don't say salt, James. Oh no, I was, I was about to say salt. I actually would never put sugar in my porridge. I would start with a little pinch of salt, and then I would add something like fresh fruit or fruit compote, so cooked fruit, or just some honey. So natural sweetness. Natural sweetness is what it's all about. What's something I can make the night before that I can get readied on the way out of the door? A great make-ahead breakfast, if you're not gonna go to the baking of making muffins, something like a birch and muesli. So grate up some apples, mix it through with oats and nuts and seeds, a little bit of sweetness if you want from honey, and it needs overnight, because you're not really cooking it, and therefore it needs the time for the fruit juice and the milk to actually soften the oats, and then you just grab a bowl on the way to go, and it's amazing. It's good. What are some of the best breakfasts from around the world? Oh, so many, because everywhere has their own awesome breakfast. I feel like we're going to have different answers to this. Costa Rica, rice and beans, kind of gallo pinto. It's absolutely brilliant. And also, while I was there, we had guava jam. So we would typically have jam on toast, maybe as a breakfast item, but it was a tropical fruit, and guava jam was amazing. I've done more European, so I like cheese and meats. Mm -hmm. And um, I recently had like heart for breakfast as well, which was Old. interesting, smoked heart. One of the best savoury options I had was in Hong Kong, and that was congee. So it's rice porridge, rice but it's savoury and was finished with kind of seafood and bits, and it was an amazing breakfast. Please keep sending us your questions for the next chef's table, but that's it. I feel like we could talk about breakfast all day long, uh, but if we don't get back to the cereal battle, it'll never end. I'm so glad the brief was cereal and not breakfast, because I wouldn't want any of these for breakfast. I'm going to start with this one because it's savoury, which in itself is confusing. Every flavour in that works, mm. all the textures work, mm -hmm. oh. it's still a bit confusing, but I love it. Now for this one. Mm. All in one? All in one, well, yeah. I wasn't that impressed until you put it in your mouth, and then you kind of get this fun thing going on because it's cold. You need and, to get out more, mate. And then you try it, but you get the coke and the icicle and the, and the poppingness mm. and the creamy chocolate. This one without fail, is the best looking one. But it's very simple mm -hmm. in flavours. Now that's a lovely description, Ben, but you have to pick a winner. And I am going to go with the popularity vote, and I am going to go for this oh. one. I think it looks great. Thanks, mate. However, my Always vote wants to be one of the popular kids. only counts for part of it, because you guys get a vote too. There's a poll on YouTube, so go and put your vote in there. And comment down below and tell us why you think each one of these was your favourite. Plus, you can get the full recipes from Salted Food. Yay. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't know why you've removed your trousers. Because it's boiling in here, Ben. It's unbelievable. We were robbed. I don't think we were. Mike's recipe was a deserving winner because it yeah, looked amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know how it all came about, right? Yeah. So Mike found a picture of that recipe on the internet right. and then came to us and said, boys, we should do a cereal battle. OK, right. Well, let's, next, in the future, you guys tell us what we do for ultimate battles. Exactly. Don't let Mike them. No. Comment down below, let us know what we should do for the next Ultimate Battles. Make sure you subscribe because we will make you hungry. I reckon that fridge cam had everything. It had too much of certain people. I know, it was too much of James. Too much, too it's much James. James' bare chest, that bare was disgusting. Chest. I saw Mike's bum. I, I'm oh, not complaining, right. but it was just, you know, you don't need to see that. And if you stick with us, it's going to have the best granola known to man on our aftertaste. Come with us now, otherwise we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, well done. What is that? Take that, Take off, that off your head. <laughs> it's ridiculous, right? It does not look like it fits. It doesn't. No. Um, so you're going to make granola that is different from the granola that Barry just used in his... Oh, yes. Chicken. We're going for DIY awesome fruity nutty granola you're going to love. It.